good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss isomorphism of graphs we begin with this example so our graphs g1 and g2 isomorphic we haven't defined isomorphism yet but what do you think is g1 equivalent to g2 if you look it closely then you will find that g1 if if you put v2 down then it would exactly looks like g2 and based on this we can say that g1 and g2 are isomorphic they had different drawing but the connections the number of the vertices edges everything is same so isomorphism means that same number of the vertices same number of the edges and same connections So we say that G1 and G2 are isomorphic if there is a 1, 1 and on to function from the vertex set of G1 to vertex set of G2 such that if UV is an edge in G1 then phi of U and phi of V is an edge in G2. So if we recall the previous example and if we define phi of vi is equal to ui it can be easily verified that it is a bijection and since there exists a bijection therefore the two graphs were isomorphic let's see some more example for example if you see this these two graphs again it is not difficult to establish a bijection between g and g dash so you can define phi of ui is equal to vi and next is to observe that how the two graphs are similar just one important note that this graph of order 10 and 15 edges is known as Peterson graph we are going to use it again and again so this was the original graph if I put, if I extend u to right side, then the graph looks like this one. And then what I do, I put back u2 and u7 inside. Then the following graphs get transformed into this graph. So they both are Peterson graphs and therefore isomorphic. The point here is that each time it is not possible to transform one graph into the other especially when the graphs are large and therefore we should know a technique to check if the two graphs are isomorphism or not so for example consider the following two graphs now we want to check the graphs are isomorphism are isomorphic or not the first step is to check the number of the vertices and the number of the edges should be same in both the graphs if they are same then we proceed further and the next step is to look for the degree sequence so both the graphs have the same degree sequence once they have the same degree sequence then we need to observe the relations between the same degree vertices and the different degree vertices if by observing it we found that everything is fine then we can start mapping a vertex from one graph to the other graph especially with the same degrees and that would give us the required bijection so we can easily observe that both the graphs they are having the same properties for example vertices of degree 4 connect with the one vertex of degree 5 in both the graphs and so on and so on and based on it we defined a bijection as follows and based since we have a bijection we can say that the given graphs are isomorphic let's consider one more example are the following graphs isomorphic so either we need to show that there is a connection in g1 which is not in g2 or the degree sequence are not same or some other thing or the other option is that if we find everything is similar in both the graphs then we should propose a bijection also the bijection is not unique 
so for this example you may observe quickly that there are two bijections there can be more than two i have mentioned two so one is going from u v w x y z to one three five two four six and the other one is going from u v w x y z to six four two one three five and since there exists a bijection we can say both the graphs are isomorphic again what do you think the graphs are isomorphic or not please do try by yourself in these two graphs you can observe that there are two vertices of degree 4 and here also these are the two vertices of degree 4 in the first graph these two degree 4 vertices are adjacent and they are the only vertices of degree 4 while in the other graph they are not adjacent and therefore we can say the following graphs are not isomorphic let us consider one more example three graphs we need to find which pair of the graphs are isomorphic and which are not in the middle graph observe that the dot in the center is not a vertex now if you see the first graph and the third graph then if you put all the interior vertices at the exterior you can easily observe that 1 and 3 are isomorphic and to establish a bijection we can give some numbering to them so you can see that letters and numbers have been introduced and then the bijection can easily be observed so first we can see that in both the graphs 1a 2b 3c and so on is a cycle and then there are additional edges 1c 2d and so on other than that there are no additional connections in any one of them all the connections have been covered and therefore both are isomorphic one more interesting thing to observe here is that if someone asks you that are the graphs first and third or first second third are bipartite so based on this bijection which we have defined we can clearly see that we can partition into two sets so one set with vertex as letters and the other is vertices as numbers and based on that this graph is bipartite but in the middle one there is a cycle of length 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so it has a odd cycle it means the middle one is not bipartite and this is a very easy way to prove that the following graphs are not isomorphic one more interesting question so find or draw two nine non isomorphic three regular simple graphs of order 6 and size 9 so three regular means the vertex the degree of each of the vertex is 3 order 6 means number of the vertices are 6 size 9 means the number of edges should be 9 and we need to draw them now first obvious choice is k33 because in k33 the order is 3 plus 3 and the size is 3 cross 3 and it's 3 regular and of course it's a bipartite graph it has no odd cycle so the next choice is we may try to find the graph with odd cycles so here are the two options one contains triangles triangle means a cycle of length 3 and the other does not contain a triangle so one is bipartite one is not bipartite and therefore they are not isomorphic both of them are three regular with order 6 and size 9 how many labeled graphs on the vertex set 1 to n are isomorphic to pn so recall that pn is a path graph with n vertices now if we consider unlabeled then there is only one path graph but once we label it 
then there could be many options for example if i consider this graph 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 4 3 they are non isomorphic because here the degree of vertex 3 is 2 but in this one the degree of vertex 3 is 1 so that's why they are non isomorphic so now we need to find all non isomorphic path graph of order n yes now with the vertex at 1 to n the total number of the permutations are n factorial that we already know for example for n is equal to 4 there are 4 factorial which are 24 permutations out of this we need to find all are distinct or there is some repetition one easy observation is that if i draw the graph 1 2 3 4 and if i simply denote it as 1 2 3 4 then this is isomorphic to 4 3 2 1 because both the graphs are same 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 other than that from 1 2 3 4 all the graphs are non isomorphic it means that each of the graph is getting repeated and therefore the number of the non isomorphic graphs is half of the total number of the permutation which is n factorial by 2. Now we have observed that to prove the two graphs are isomorphic we need to establish a bijection and there are n factorial possible bijections. If n is large it is many times it is not easy to find a bijection and that therefore we are going to discuss one more method which works in some cases which says that if two graphs g and g dash are isomorphic then their complement are also isomorphic and g and g dash are isomorphic if and only if their complements are isomorphic it's very easy to prove because here isomorphic means that if x y are adjacent in g then they are adjacent in g dash also which means that x y are not adjacent in g complement and they are not adjacent in g dash complement and therefore all the adjacencies here also remains preserved let us consider an example so these two graphs we have already discussed that they are non isomorphic but if we quickly try to compute their complement then the first for the first graph g complement is a cycle of length 6 c6 while for the other one we get two disjoint cycles of length 3 and now clearly we can say that both are not isomorphic and since the complements are not isomorphic we can say that the given graphs are not isomorphic Let's try one more question. Determine whether the following graphs are isomorphic. In both the graphs, central one is not a vertex. Now you can easily observe here that degree of all the vertices is 5, which means they have the same degree sequence. And therefore, it's not very easy to check that the graphs are isomorphic or not. If we try to compute their complement then we may have the answer to compute the complement the first step is to label them so 4 5 6 7 and 8 now we can see that 1 1 is not adjacent to 3 and 1 is because the degree of 1 is 5 therefore in complement it degree must be 2 so it is adjacent to 2, not 3, 5, then sorry 4, 5, 6, it is not adjacent to 7. Now next 2, so 2, 2 is not adjacent to 4 and then 2 is not adjacent to 8. The next is 3. 3 we already discussed so it is adjacent it is not adjacent to 1 
and it is not adjacent to 5. So the complement would come out to be 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. So there are two cycles, two disjoint cycles of length 4, C4 cross C4. And in this case, please do try by yourself, you will find that the complement comes out to be C8. Clearly the complements are non-isomorphic and therefore the original graphs are non-isomorphic. So thank you very much for attending the class. In the next class, we will start a new chapter, Trees.